by the things he's flying This also known as a bust stop Always talking about what he wants and just sits on his broke ass So no, I don't want your number No, I don't wanna give you my neck No, I don't wanna get you nowhere I, 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 I don't want no scrub, 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 I don't want no scrub everyone it's your girl Tori Aaliyah and I am back with another video so I know I've been away for a while I'm so sorry but I had some technical difficulties that I was working out which stay tuned for my next video because I will cover that and also I was a bit I have been working full-time which I've never done before so I just found myself being like extremely exhausted when I got home from work not that it's stressful or anything but you know just putting all my time into work it just made me exhausted and this time changing back I I am knocked out by like 8 30 I don't know why that I've also been sick it's not you know COVID related but yeah so I had to take a break you know just for my mental health and with everything that was going on, the election and everything, I was just, I didn't have the mental capacity to film videos. But we're back now. So today I wanted to, oh my God, I didn't even introduce myself. So for those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Tori Aaliyah and I make lifestyle videos, I do DIYs, and I also do vlogs. I kind of do a bit of everything. And um, if you've been here and you've subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for the support. Stay tuned because I will be dropping more content. So for today's video, I wanted to do um, a at home photo shoot. And for those of you who are new to this channel or um, I've been getting more subscribers lately, I think I'm at like 280, which isn't a lot, but compared to what I started off with this year, it has grown a ton so i just want to say thank you to all of you who have subscribed i really do appreciate it i um you guys might know me from my diy at home birthday photo shoot on a budget so i made that video earlier this year in february which was around the time of my birthday and it blew up like in like mid to late March till now it has been doing really good um, and I think it's due to everything that's happening people can't you know enjoy their birthdays and take trips or do you know stuff that they would normally do because everything's was on lockdown or is now currently going back on lockdown so people have been resorting to doing at-home photo shoots on a budget and so my videos have my video on that has been doing really great and I just want to say thank you so much for all those who have watched have commented but enough about that so I decided that I would do a part two to that video which is basically a more subtle at home photo shoot where you don't need much equipment just a camera lighting and that's that's really it honestly so I decided to film that today and um, I just want to go over everything that I did in this video so first and foremost I have a two cameras so i have my main camera which is what i'm using to film this video and that is the canon eos rebel t5i i have the 24 millimeter lens attached to it and while this camera is really great and the lens that i have attached is really good 24 millimeter between 24 and the nifty 50 which everyone uses they're pretty good for really sharp photos they're a good addition if you have the rebel series i don't know if they work for every single camera but i know for sure if you have a rebel series definitely get you one of these to add to your camera back because they're really good and I dip, um, I was deciding on what camera I would use to film this video and I ended up using my camera, my phone. So the reason why I decided to use my phone was because while this camera that I'm using to film is really great, it doesn't have any Wi-Fi capabilities. I'm not sure if the T6i might be the ones that started to have those. But the T5i doesn't. And so I would kind of have to be back and forth pressing the button and doing the timer to take the pictures. 
and it would have been too much. And I also decided to use my iPhone because this is the iPhone XR by the way. I also decided to use this iPhone because I feel like most people that want to do at home photo shoots to you know kind of you know elevate their Instagram or wherever they mo most people have an iPhone or a really good Android phone like the um, Note 10 or the Galaxy. So I just wanted to focus on using these types of phone. Um, I mean, this technology to film as opposed to a camera, a DSLR camera. So in order to take really good photos, you know, please into the eyes, you want to start off with a good background. Now, if you don't have if you feel like you can't find a good space in your house to take a picture, I would say, you know, get a, a type of backdrop and you really don't need much. I have this backdrop behind me, which is what I'm using for the photos in the video. And I got this on Amazon. I will list it. It's just fabric. It's like 60 inches um, both ways, I think think or maybe vertically but it covers the area that I want to take the picture in and it just gives it like a clean look so it kind of blocks out everything so I would say you know get a fabric hang it somewhere so that you can take your pictures in front of it these photos were more um, portrait based so they only covered from my head to my mid waist and I did that because it is a bit harder taking a full body photo when you don't have much space. And if you're like me, everyone's kind of, if you left college or you're in college, you're kind of home and you don't have as much space. So you kind of have to work with what you have. So I decided to do head to mid waist and I, I prefer that because you only have to get an outfit for just your top half, which is my next tip. You wanna get an outfit that complements you, complements the look that you're going for. I wanted to do a kind of simple fall, even though it's, is it still fall? It is still fall. So I wanted my thing to be fall themed, so my outfit was a brown top. And as you can see, I changed my shirt, but I did my makeup to be brown i did brown eyeshadow light and dark brown my lips are um glossy with a brown lip gloss so i kind of tied that into my outfit which you might see in the next clip. all right you guys so i did my makeup and i put my outfit on i think i'm about to put a necklace on you know just to add something i'm not a big jewelry person but you know might as well so let's do that and then we can start taking the pictures so I did my makeup which is another thing that you want to do you don't have to go all out but you know you just want to make sure you do your hair nice you do your makeup or you do whatever makes you feel beautiful and you proceed to the next step which is taking the photo so for the easiest and most um, less time consuming way to take a, um, a photo on your iPhone or your Android phone is to get a um, timer button. I think that's what they're called. So basically they have, so they're a Bluetooth button which you can use to um, take your pictures. So you connect it to your phone. These are really cheap. I know for the most part, um, if you have like a tripod, most tripods come with these because that's how I got this one. I ordered a tripod and it came with it. So you just connect it to your phone. You just connect it to your phone. And then you... You take it. So definitely get that because it makes it so much easier than you running back and forth to see what you're doing and having to press that timer and run back so that it catches you in time and then you can't pose the way you want because you're hurrying. So definitely invest in one of those. They're really cheap. I will link one in the bio 
what am I talking about? I will link one in the description so that you can go check it out and get one. So yes, so those are really the, let me stop hitting my, um, my microphone. So those are really the three main things that you need. Oh, I'm forgetting something. You need good lighting. So as you can see, I currently, I have a ring light. Um, I got this ring light from Amazon. I get everything from Amazon, y'all. Amazon, you need to sponsor me because so much of my paycheck goes to Amazon. It's not even funny. But you need lighting. Now, there's a tons of different lighting that you can use to film this video. You can use... It's so many different ways. I know ring lights, they are a bit more on the... They are somewhat expensive depending on your budget. I know this one I have cost like over a hundred and they were pretty cheap the other day during Black Friday, but yeah. However, there's different types of ring lights. So I've just found out there's a mini ring light, which is kind of like a tiny tripod, which does the same amount of work. And I will link that one. There's also, you can make your own ring light there's tons of videos on it. All you need is some LED lights and you stick that on to a circle and you already have a ring light right there. That's what I did when I first started um, filming videos and it worked really great. You also can get different um, lighting through, you can get LED lights um, or LED bulbs that have like better lighting instead of that yellow tone in the bulbs you can get the led ones and kind of point it at you so that light is hitting you so it's different ways or you can use the best lighting which is natural lighting from through your window or take your pictures outside so whichever one works for you you do that the lighting in my room is not that great i only have one window and it's not facing where the sun hits so it makes it so horrible to take pictures in here and that's why i use a ring light but if you have a nice window and the sun is shining right on you then you're good that's all you need really so i hope those tips helped i will show you the pictures i should maybe put them right here and how they came out but I do want to go into how I edit these videos so stay tuned for that video and how I edit the videos because this video is probably getting a bit too long so yeah stay tuned for part two on how I edit them I'm gonna be using Adobe Lightroom it does require a subscription I think it's ten dollars a month but if you're in school you can get this for free i know most schools have it which i was so bummed about because i didn't really realize that we had adobe until like towards the end of my senior year so take advantage of that most schools will allow you to have those adobe um the adobe apps for free well not free it's from your tuition so if you're in college Get on that so yes stay tuned for part two i really hope you liked this video i hope it was helpful and if you have any questions please ask them down below in the comments and i will get to them i'm really good at going through my comments because i don't have that much so yeah definitely write anything i will show you how i edit them in part two so stay tuned for that and i hope you enjoyed this video um please make sure to stay tuned and please um just go through my past videos i have a lot of videos y'all so check them out spam it thank you and i'll see you in my next one bye